Force Command, FCT Command, disrupted a protest by Joint Action Committee of the Senior Staff Association of Nigerian Universities, SANU, and Non-Academic Staff Union, NASU. ADB and Labour correspondent Ekaiti Boot, who was there and covered the protest, has details. The planned protest by the two unions, SANU and NASU, was interrupted by what looked like a drama, which started as members were arriving at the scheduled takeoff point, the Unity Fountain. Upon arrival, the unionists, including pressmen, were barred at the gates by security officers from entering the convergence point, except for those who were there before the arrival of the security agents. After arguments, they were finally granted access to the venue, and upon entry, the protesters chanted solidarity songs while displaying placards of various inscriptions to press home their demands. Briefing newsmen before the intended departure, the president of SANU, Comrade Mohammed Ibrahim, and the general secretary SANU, Comrade Peter, said the peaceful process serves as a final appeal to government to pay their outstanding salaries or them. As the joint unions will have no choice than to shut down academic activities across universities in a few days. While Mr. President's uh, determination to move this country forward is very glaring, he needs to look into the people he works with. For example, we are totally, totally not satisfied with the performance of the Minister of Labor because she has clearly shown ineptitude and has shown that she is not, you know, doing her job the way she should. The issues are very straightforward and clear. In fact, honestly, we are not supposed to be involved in protest. If government, if the government has acted in a manner will also calm our members. But unfortunately, government appear not to have shown sensitivity to issues affecting the non-teaching staff in our universities and inter-university center. The protest, however, took another dimension as the police personnel used armored vehicle and helix van to barricade the venue preventing the protesters from going out of the Unity Fountain to the Ministries of Labor and Education where they intended to deliver their letters to the two ministers. All entreaties made to the police by the leadership of the two unions could not persuade them to allow their aggrieved members to proceed with the protest. In a swift move to ensure that the letters were submitted to the relevant ministries, the leadership of Jack decided to use their vehicles instead of the initial procession to go to the Minister of Education, Professor Taha Maman, and his counterparts in the Minister of Labor and Employment, Nkiruka Onyejo Cha, Ikaite Ibut, ADBN News.